this week, I believe, there's a major meeting uh, in Europe that will give the latest projections on global warming and the rise of sea level. That could prove to be the greatest challenge of it for Erie, for plant breeding, for rice science in general, because as you know, rice is, the majority of rice is found in the large, low-lying river deltas of Asia, the, the, the Ganges, the, the Brahmaputra, the Irrawaddy, the, the, the Mekong, the Godavari, all those big uh, deltas are, you know, in some cases only a few inches above sea level. I mean, so I think right now the minimum, minimum prediction for sea level rise, I, I was reading that they're expecting, uh, and this is the most conservative projection you can make, 38 inches by the middle of this century, I believe, is the timing. 38 inches will obliterate places like Bangladesh, uh, places like West Bengal, the Mekong Delta. It, it's huge. So what will happen slowly, or maybe not so slowly, is brackish water will get pushed up the, the, the uh, rivers and affect the growth of the rice. Then you get less and less fresh water coming down because the glaciers are melting in the Himalayas uh, at, a, at a rate that people can't believe. So you're going to get you're going to get a scarcity of fresh water, and then a rising sea level that pushes in the brackish water, and that's going to push the cultivation of rice way back in, in a gradual or maybe not so gradual manner. So salinity tolerance might offer some help. You know there are areas of uh, the world like you go to. Uh, Sulawesi, you could find uh, the buyer varieties that are tolerant of, of brackish water and, you know, uh, are, are tolerant of the tides coming and going. It may be building on the genetic capacity of those materials and, you know, identifying new sources of uh, salinity tolerance and, and drought tolerance may offer some hope through plant breeding and, and other contributions of other scientists but but I think the the global warming and the resulting rise in sea level uh, and remember that 38 inches is the minimum others are predicting more faster and that portends a real crisis in rice cultivation <laughs>